And good afternoon. After the first day of school, the Austin School Board approved the final budget for this year. That vote came last night, and as Aaron Cargill shows us, the actual cuts were not as bad as the earlier projections for the budget. Good afternoon. The total balanced budget, $703 million. As we've been reporting for months, employees took the biggest hit. The district cut more than 1,000 positions, and in the end, there were about 300 people who they could still not find a position for. Now, the school board kept the tax rate for day-to-day -day operations the same and reinstated a tax break for owners of historical homes. There are no employee raises this year. The district was able to save full-day pre-K planning periods for high school teachers, and class sizes also stayed the same thanks to lawmakers who did not approve larger class sizes last session. We weren't able to, which is probably a good thing, raise cap class sizes in K-5, to so we hired some additional people back. Last night, the board also moved forward with a plan to make hundreds of thousands of dollars off school bus advertising, which several local districts are already doing. They also approved buying land to build a new elementary school in north central Austin, and they entered into an agreement with Circle C and the city of Austin regarding donated land for a future sports and marching band practice field for Bowie High School. In central Austin, Aaron Cargill, KXAN News.